Hello everybody and welcome back. It's uh, it's good to see you. Today I thought we'd take a look at my first TikToks that I ever made. I haven't seen most of these videos in a very long time, so I thought it would be cool to look back, um, reminisce. So without further ado, let's uh, let's let's begin. Behind every phallus is a story. If you're looking to improve your phallus drawing skills because you think it's funny, then this isn't the course for you. <laughs> it all starts with an idea. <laughs> oh my god, pause it there. I spent so long on coming up with fake classes that would be in a dick drawing masterclass. This was made around the time that all of those masterclass videos were coming out. There was a lot of ads on YouTube. I remember Martin Scorsese had his just everywhere and it would be all I saw. And so I thought it'd be really funny to make a fake masterclass where it's just about drawing dicks. From the initial concept all the way to the finished product. I hate people who call phalluses dicks or cocks or anything like that. You know, we have a name for those kinds of people in the business. And we call them dicks. That's a weak joke. That was so... <laughs> I remember that's that's the part of the video where I was like, man, that really, that really sucked. I remember writing that and scripting it beforehand and I was like, I think I should probably come up with a better joke than that, a better line. And I just never did because I just wanted to film the video. And it's made it, it made it into the final cut and I just, I, I wish I had to spend a little bit more time on that joke. Chef curvature is always a tricky one. You don't want it too straight, it looks unnatural. Too curved, and it's just unwieldy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Richard B, and this is my master class. <laughs> Dude. Dude. <laughs> Well my, well my, that was my first video. I feel like that video is better than 90% of the videos that I put out now. Do you suffer from back pain, a sore neck, erectile dysfunction? Well, don't worry. Introducing a pile of bricks. With a sleek, modern, and ergonomic design, a pile of bricks could possibly help using a secret patented design oh my god dude <laughs> that that took me so long that effect it's so funny because i don't want to toot my own horn but because of how accurate this is to daytime infomercials they always do this black and white like weird like diagram of how something works and it is just Oh, it's so stupid. This is probably one of my favorite videos that I've made, and I think it's actually on this YouTube channel. Pile of bricks realigns the spine completely without complications. Just listen to some. Dude, what gets me the most is the skinny jeans. I haven't worn a pair of skinny jeans probably since this video came out. Just listen to some of our satisfied customers. I used to suffer terrible lower back pain. But after using a pile of bricks, I can honestly say, I don't feel anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> this was old me, you know, I was, I was a little bit more edgier back then. I totally forgot about that joke, that's so fucking funny. So I made these initial videos uh, with my actual camera, and then I sort of started to experiment with maybe just using my phone and I created a couple of little bangers that really didn't get the recognition that they deserved, I don't think. A classic right here, an absolute classic. Do you get it? Do you get it? It's because when she tells you to get off your fat ass and then you stand up, yeah, you got a fat ass. It's pretty funny. This is fucking genius comedy right there. Didn't take off, could not possibly imagine why. <laughs> oh, dude, rust moment. That was, I am I am surprised that one didn't do better than it did. Dude, the one that started it all. 
the Animal Crossing video. Oh my God. To this point, I had made like a few kind of videos, but then none of them had really blown up. And I remember posting this Animal Crossing video and it just getting like 2 million views in the space of like a few days. And um, that's what really like changed my kind of trajectory of like doing this for fun and then like taking it a little bit more seriously. At this point, I was like, I don't know, it's like, I'm gonna post whatever I want because no one's gonna see it. And then 2 million people see a video and I was like, I should, I should probably, I should probably put some more effort into this. <laughs> After that I did, oh God, I did um, like six, seven parts of Animal Crossing. I really like rode that thing into the grave. Yeah, man, I've been growing these really cool potatoes. They're just down. Hey, whoa, what? Watch out, man. You serious? Step on a crack, you break your mom's back. Everyone knows that. Okay, buddy. <laughs> The scream is so good. This is fucked up. Is this like narcissistic laughing at your own videos? That's just how you know they're good. It's funny, something that I learned very early on is that when you make a video, you will find it funny because you know what's supposed to be funny. But a lot of the time you'll make a video and what is supposed to be funny is kind of lost to the audience. They don't get the reference or they don't get the part of the video that they're supposed to laugh at and that gets lost a lot. And early on, I made a lot of these videos where I was like, this is hilarious to me and I know what's funny, so it's funny. But a lot of people watched it and were like, I don't, like, what? <laughs> this next video is that. Oh, it's been a long till we cross the border now. So how do we actually know when we're in Mexico? Like, I don't see any signs or anything like that. <laughs> if American movies have taught me anything, trust me. Okay. Oh. Oh, I think I know what you mean. I think we're here. Yep, this is Mexico, all right? Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. God, it's so orange. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck, I can't see. Where are the sunglasses? I can't see. Oh, why didn't we pack oh. any sunglasses? Oh, God, I can't, I can't see. see. Turn it around. <laughs> that is a perfect example of that. I'd just come off the back of watching Breaking Bad. And for some reason, every time you go to Mexico and Breaking Bad, the, it's just so orange. Like every American movie, it's so orange in Mexico. And then just like normal color palette anywhere else in the world. And I thought it'd just be such a funny video to just make fun of that. And this is a big reason I put subtitles on my videos now. Because if you miss the part where I say, if American movies have taught me anything, we'll know. You just don't get the entire joke. Yeah, I thought that was really interesting. Moving on. No, no, I hear what you're saying. I just don't care. Just get him on stage. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know why you keep talking. Hey, look, I'll call you back. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dirk Bag, manager of your favorite no longer living artist. Now I know what you're thinking. Didn't that guy die like two years ago? How did he just release another 22 song studio album? <laughs> and look, these are all great questions and uh, my heart goes out to their families. It really does. <laughs> However, uh, we don't really like to use the D word around here. It's just not good for business. You see, your favorite no longer living artist signed what we like to call a five-year contract, which legally binds them to produce four studio albums. And let me tell you right now that dying is not an excuse for not being able to fulfill your end of the bargain. I hope we cleared some things up. And uh, well, now that that's out of the way, I'd just like to take this time to announce that we have just acquired the rights to your favorite no longer living artist holographic image projection. Well, with this in mind, it's safe to say that next year's Coachella should be pretty lit. Bottoms up. <laughs> Dude, I love that video. It got no view. It got 15,000 views. I, th I think that's like only views from people looking through my page too. I think at the time it didn't crack seven or 8,000. That video, oh my God, what a classic. That came right off the back of XXX Tentacion releasing another album, even though he was dead. And same with Little Peep, like Spotlight came out with Marshmallow and I was like, didn't, didn't he die? And then they, they've just released like three or four albums since they died. And it's like, how do they keep getting tracks from this guy who's dead? Like how much studio recording do they really do? I thought that was a really funny video, but um, uh, TikTok did not think so. I actually got really um, crafty, I guess is the word when I was making this video because the script was so long and I had to be looking down the barrel the whole time. So I needed what's called a teleprompter, but I don't have one and you have to buy them. And I didn't really want to buy one. So I actually made my own out of a clipboard and a piece of glass from a frame, like a picture frame. And that's how I was able to look down the barrel and remember all of those lines because it was actually going right in front of the lens. I've actually still got it. 
see that? So <laughs> I, lay, I got a label maker at the time too, and I just went full ham with the labeling. See, it says bootleg teleprompter. <laughs> and yeah, you sit your iPad in there and you put this in front of the glass like that. And then it shows, it reflects up the words. It's really sick. Yeah, still have it. Use it for that one video, never again. There you go. That's it, that's it. That's it. Yes! Nice, man. It's too bad you lost the game, though. What do you mean? I just lost the game. I, I literally just qualified. You lost the game. What are you talking about, man? I just... The game, Colin. You lost. That's impossible. Believe it. It just happened. No, that's... That's impossible. It happens to the best of us. I don't think you hear what I'm saying. It's impossible. I can't lose the game, Francis. I died six years ago. What? Move on, Francis. You lost the game. Help me. Hey, come on, man. That's not funny. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think I was really going through something there. Dude, and then it loops. That's it, that's it. Whoa! My first looping video. I think I was I was just like really sad that day and I was just kind of like, you know what? I want to make something to make everyone else feel sad too because I'm a piece of shit like that. You can tell when that video came out because um, I was referencing Fall Guys and Fall Guys was, you know, remember that time Fall Guys was relevant for like two weeks? That's when that video came out. All right. Just these ones for today? Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Oh. Dude, you can so... T I'm clearly in the middle of growing my mustache out and it is disgusting. Awesome. And are you a member with us? Uh, no, I'm not. If you sign up, you get an extra 10% off. Oh, you want to do that? Yeah, all right. Yeah, let's do that then. Awesome. Uh, I just need to grab a couple of details off you. What's your name? Yep, it's uh, Jackson. Yep. And what's your phone number? <laughs> Dude. I feel like I should remake that just because I fucking love that. All right, that's going to have to do it for me today. Let me know if you guys want me to react to any more of my old TikToks. This was really fun. If you've watched any of those TikToks before seeing this YouTube video, let me know. Oh my God. In the comments below, I'd be really interested to, um, to see if you have. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. I love you. Bye. Please call me back.